while I absolutely agree that I certainly don't need any more cameras, I keep an eye on eBay and this particular camera that's in this box behind me, I saw cycle through three or four times and was relisted for one very simple reason. One that I've addressed in my other videos. Anyway, we'll get to opening it in a second. This camera is a 90s 35mm SLR film camera. The camera itself is Nikon, my favourite brand, and it was released in between the F4 and the F5. The F4, this absolute beast, actually has a cameo in one of my favourite movies, Heat. Now the F4 takes a million AA batteries and is a heavy, heavy beast. It takes beautiful pictures, it does not let me down, but I'm a little bit precious about it. I actually have two spare bodies for this that I can use as parts if needs be, but I take it out rarely just because of my personal preference. Worse still for weight and size is my Nikon F5. Oh, I've got a bit of tape on the Nikon. Do you guys do that? I tend to tape up the brand and the design. Anyway, the F5 has a massively crazy shutter speed. It sounds like a machine gun when I fire this thing. It's absolutely awesome. So I don't really use this that much as well because of the weight and the size. It's a little bit cumbersome and also film's very expensive. So I don't put a bunch of film through this at eight frames per second and bankrupt my family. So in between those two then, Nikon had a problem. The Canon range was releasing its EOS and the EOS was just destroying the market. So a lot of those early Nikon followers were moving across to Canon and rightly so. Nikon needed something, a stopgap between the F4 and the F5. Obviously we have the F100 and the F6 as well in the mix. However, Nikon around that time needed this camera. So in the late 90s, this camera in this box was released. It's a prosumer camera, so it's not designed for professionals. Who cares? We're not shooting 35 mil as professionals. When we go out on professional jobs, we're gonna take our D800, D810, D850 full frame lenses. Here, we're just shooting our 35 for nostalgia, for fun, to take us back to those good old times and to get those beautiful creamy shots with our portrait. So I saw this camera in this box for a steal and I picked it up. What is in this box cost me less than $40. This is a steal. This is daylight robbery. If you consider the price of film at the moment, you want to get a roll of portrait, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks ish, uh, maybe a little bit less. So for two rolls of that, I bought this camera, including shipping. Without further ado, let's have a look in the box. So as we can see, that's some pretty solid packaging. Can you guess what it is? The Nikon N90S, love it. Actually doesn't look in terrible condition, a little bit dusty, so it looks like it's been sat on a shelf somewhere. And I'm not crazy about this strap, but it does seem pretty comfortable. Look at the use it's had, that's a low pro strap. Well, let's get a good look at this old 90s bad boy. So it's the 90S. The N90S, and this is the reason I think people did not purchase this camera. Look at that back door. It's all covered in this sticky stuff, and it looks like someone's tried to scrape that off. It comes with the original MB10 battery grip, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get that bad boy off. There you go. Comes off after a fashion. Battery housing looks pretty good. And I am gonna strip this camera down, give it a clean, and see if it works. Let's go. So I took the strap off because I'm gonna use a Peak Design, or I always use Peak Design straps. And this back door, at least the catch isn't broken, because the catch often is what gets broken on these N90s. And inside, it looks beautiful. You see this little clip here? If I pull that clip down, I can now release the back door of this camera and then I can just take my time and clean the back door, which is what I'm gonna do next. So these alcohol pads you get from CVS. I mean, I got these ones off Amazon. I use these all the time. So buy a big bulk load off Amazon. And then all you do is wipe that sticky stuff in a circular motion. 
and it should come off. I'm just doing a little test area. You will know because the alcohol pad will be disgusting. Look at that. So we can see that that works. So what we're gonna do is get a whole bunch out and we'll give it a clean. There it is, complete, completely clean. All the gunk is gone. Let's do the rest of the beast. And fast forward. So there you have it, you guys, the Nikon N90S. This one, compared to the 90, is weather sealed. It has an enhanced focusing system compared to the 90s. The shutter speed on this was 1 8,000th of a second, all the way up to 30 seconds, which is blisteringly fast for back then. ISO's from 6 to 6,400, so nice, it works in low light. You can also attach a flash for that awesome flash photography. Also has DX coding, so just stick your film in, it'll set the ISO for you, which is super helpful. And again, this is a prosumer camera. So between the F4 and the F5, I actually have my F100, so this is my baby, it doesn't let me down. So this is just gonna go on the shelf with my others and then I'll flip it on eBay or sell it and somebody else can enjoy this camera. The viewfinder is super clear, huge, huge, huge crystal clear viewfinder, which I love. It just feels so good in the hand. All in all, a good deal. If you're looking for a prosumer camera from the 90s and you've got Nikon glass, you love Nikon the brand, you want that wonderful sturdy feel with that weather ceiling, then I would seriously consider the Nikon N90S. I certainly do not need any more Nikon cameras. I have a wonderful Nikon SLR range, N80s, 008s, 60s, 70s, 600s, F4s, F5s, everything's in there. But this 90S is gonna live on the shelf until I'm ready to use it and sell it. Look out for those pictures. You guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for looking in on that awesome bargain. Don't forget, you can still thrift cameras. Couple of dollars from a thrift store, Nikon One Touch, awesome 35 millimeter camera. Get out there, shoot your 35, enjoy it, create those images. Remember, if you're paying 15 to 20 bucks for a roll of Portra, that's 36 shots that you're making, 36 beautiful images, 36 works of art that you love, you can get printed out and you can keep forever. Don't let your images live in the ether of FaceTalk and TikTok and Instapot. Print them out, put them in your albums, hang them on your walls. Don't go to Ikea and buy a picture. 
Print out a picture that you created, be it a scene or your family or your vehicle or whatever it is that you do, nightclubs, music, whatever. Print those images out. Be that person that has an interesting house. You can do it. 35 mil. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one.